and welcome back to Subnautica. Yep, I redesigned the base. And I'm going to give you a little tour. This is the observation deck, and I put two plants in here, the food, and it splits into two. On this side, we have a moon pool. Right now, we have the sea moth in there. On the other side, we also have a moon pool. And this um, has some storage where I haven't unloaded the stuff or put exactly where I'm going to put things because I haven't decided which side. I'll put the sea moth on one side and the uh, tank on the other. Now we're coming through to what was the section. Uh, this is where the aquarium will be, or the research center. So I have to pass through it to get to any of the other sections. It will also be used as an elevator, so I don't have to go up these dang steps if I don't want to but I don't like them now right now I'm doing the tour sort of at night um, I don't know exactly hello what the heck are you doing oh somebody's lost <laughs> okay is he come to yell at me for Killing his friend. So there's that section. Then we also have this section, which is really cool. This is the last unit, and you can't see right now what improvements I've made, but I wanted to show you what the base looks like at night. Then I'll show you what it looks like in the daytime. So give you a little orientation. There's the top. There's the Aurora, which we're gonna be exploring the moons. Alright. So. Now you know kind of where it is. The location hasn't changed. It's just the configuration. So let's look at it. <gasps> Ooh. So pretty. As you can see on the outside I put a grow bed. And I put some I don't know plants in there, mushrooms and stuff. But look at the lights. I think it's really pretty. So we have that single unit. We have a long walkway. Then we will have the aquarium. Another long walkway then where it splits off into the two. What I have not added is the observation room, the scanner room. I have to put that back. I haven't decided what the, where the heck I'm going to put that. I did make this bulb where we started the video in there, which I like. We have to put the, the storage in and decide where everything is going to be, which, which unit will hold what. This is the back side. So you can see there's plenty of room to fall down. I just don't know which one I'm going to put the prawn suit and which side I'm going to put the seat on. I haven't even found the control panel for the sea moth, so I hope it's in there. We have a back entrance here. Another thing I haven't decided on is which room is going to be my office and which, or bedroom or whatever you want to call it, and which room is going to be for food production. Um, also, we have to make room for, you know, where's the water thing going to be? Where's the food production. Do I want my office in the central part or do I want it here on the end where the little rabbit ray is. It's very cute. And look at this view. Oh, it's my favorite view. This is the original unit. And then what I did was I put a grow bed right outside the window so I could get a little bit more interest. Plus it's a food source or mushroom source. Coming up on my favorite time of day. 
and this is what it looks like in the daytime. I'm going to run back through again so you can see what it looks like. I just cannot make up my mind. Do I want this to be the food processing center? Or do I want this to be where my, my bed is, my office, my desk, my chair? I kind of thinking that's what I'm going to do with this space. But I have a couple more spaces that could also be cool. This is kind of centrally located. And the bottom of the uh, aquarium will be here. So this is not really a space available here on the bottom. This will be, the whole floor will be taken up and I'll probably need these plants. I don't know, but there's an exit out of here. Yes, I'm getting some food because when I moved everything, I had to move the plants and then I didn't have them anymore, so. Uh. My, my main goal is to have a, a dedicated place for everything. Everything's convenient and logical. You know, storage where you unload stuff so it's not a big pain in the butt. We'll come in here. Right now I have the ladders. This is empty because it's going to be full up. This is the top floor where you go to the split. And hopefully the aquarium will take up all those spaces. And we're back to the observation. Look, every time I step into this area the game kind of goes mental the music starts like you know there's going to be horrible creatures popping out at me i don't get it so there's a lot of decisions that still have to be made before i start putting things in place when i know what things are going to look like you know i think they did a really good job on on improving the moon pool the water in there looks really cool that looks really cool. So that'll be two areas for loading and unloading stuff. Um, I put some reinforcement in, but I don't know how much more I'm going to need. I ran out of titanium, so I need to get some more of that. This is the top floor. This is also a candidate for my office sleeping area. This is kind of cool, too. Maybe I'll have a slip it separate place for the quote-unquote office. I don't know how much stuff we got to put in here. Uh, maybe just an observation deck and we'll put all the windows all the way around. Can't do that until I get more titanium. My main problem is that right now I can only hold what my inventory can hold with the titanium. I don't know um, I think we're just going to have to face it that we're, isn't that beautiful, going to have to go to the Aurora and see what it has. we got to do a lot more exploring to get these PC parts. We're still in the midst of getting all the Cyclops pieces. We're not there yet. There's the grow bed in the daytime. Like I said, hello. I haven't decided where, where it's going to go what keep flip-flopping it's like oh yeah I definitely want to be there or definitely but I want to make sure that I put the vital areas to where I have to be in every one of the places you know I use the entire base I don't want some section that I never go to if if I am gonna have a section that I never go to it's gonna be off from one of the moon pools and it'll be probably where the water filtration system is if I ever find it um, I also have to figure out where the, the filtration system, uh, when it goes in, um, uh, because it's very loud and noisy in my opinion. Or do I want to just put it in the food processing room? Um, I've got to make a lot of storage. So these are just temporary put up there. They're not straight. 
Um, the battery thing, I'll probably have to build one for both sides, depending on, I don't want to have to run to another place to get essentials before I leave. I gotta find the control panel for the moon pool so I can customize the Seamoth or Prawn or whatever it does. Um, yeah. Got a fire extinguisher, that's good. Um, so that's basically the tour so far, what I've built, and I'm really happy with it. But I still, oh, I also have to put in the scanner room. I don't know where I'm gonna put that. Uh, it, you kind of almost have to live it. It almost has to kind of grow organically. I looked for tons of base designs or whatever and nothing really suited me. Repair that before we go out because the Zooka. See how well that works? Hello. Got some cool guys. And I'm going to I gotta put way more solar panels. I have to put a lot of things, but we don't have everything that we need, so we're gonna go explore the Aurora. I'm kind of doing this spur of the moment. I just want to see kind of how far and stuff. Just check it out a little bit. Because I'm not 100% prepared. I don't know how much prepared I need to be. Um, I know you can pick up stuff there, and since I don't have any storage on on the Seamoth yet, uh, I don't know where I find that stuff. I may have to Google it. <laughs> Best way to find out, because I don't remember. They keep configuring things, you know, different. Last time we found a an alien vent, which was something new. Okay. I think that signals that we've moved into another biome. I'm kind of waiting for it to render. I do know I want to head to the back of the boat. There's another live pod. Uh, sunk to the ocean bottom. I, that's like 800 meters. I can't do that. At 200 meters, I start getting damage to the sea moth. It, it, can't go very deep. Gosh. Hope I don't run into the sea monster. Or whatever it is. Let's see where I am. Make sure I'm going to the right thing. Okay. Alright, let's head to the back. Have to be real careful and listen for the music. Oh, this guy floating upside down. Have I been to this before? I don't remember. I don't think so. Ooh, looks like it blasted out. I want to go in and look and see what's inside there. I don't know if I've seen this before. I don't think... No, I haven't. Creature decoy. Uh-oh. Does that mean I need a creature decoy? anything else in here. That kind of scares me. Do I need a decoy for a creature? Okay, it's rumbly. Um, the data bank, let's see. Equipment, creature decoy. Mimics the behavior of a living creature. Vibrates. Short on board battery provides limited lifespan to attract predators. Cool. Okay. And what else did we get that I haven't looked at? Um, oh. Okay. A blueprint. Needs titanium and a wiring kit. Well, I don't have anything like that on me, so... We still need some 
blueprints like a light stick. I mean, that's kind of simple stuff. I don't know why I don't have it. <laughs> I guess I need to do more exploring. I, I like my base. <laughs> I think I spent too much time there. Okay, beacons. I'm trying to find the beacon for this rat. If it's one of them. But I don't see it. You know, one of the distress signals that we got on the radio. I just don't recall that one. Alright, we're getting close. Please don't. Please don't. No monsters, no monsters, no monsters. You see, the only way to get into the Aurora was from the side. There was like a hole at the bottom, but I don't know. I guess they fixed or did something different. Uh oh. <gasps> there was the monster. <laughs> get away, get away, get Life away, get away, regions. get away. In this region, our spots. The Aurora's radioactive fallout will have devastating effects on the alien ecosystem if not contained within the next 24 hours. Oh, great. We have a 24-hour deadline to contain the radiation or it's going to destroy the ecosystem. And we may be stuck here for a while, so we definitely need the ecosystem to be intact so the fish don't die. I saw that guy's tail. I saw him and heard him yelling, but I don't think he'll come in here. God, I hope not. Well, that was a little scary, but we seemed to get in here quicker than he was. Oh my. Alright, I see a platform we can crawl on. Yay. I do remember some things. Where can I park? Uh oh, I see a lot of creepy crawlies out there. Battery. I didn't even check my thing, did I? It's 100%. Okay, cool. I love this thing. Let's see what we can do here. Kapow! Right at the other one. Push. Did it kill it? I have no idea. If I remember, look at all this debris falling. Ah! Let's see if we can kill all those guys. Um, it's beeping. There's one hidden somewhere. hard to believe we were just flying on this thing and now it's a dest destroyed and there's no way we're getting out of here on this thing. Alright. We have a couple of things that we have to do for sure. We have to fix the, the leaks. Contain the radiation. Right now we're wearing the radiation suit and since we're going to be doing a lot of deep diving I'm sure I thought maybe that might be something to scan that we could start wearing the rebreather rebreather I can hear it scuttling around I don't know where it is Alright, looks like there's a door, but we're going to have to move some stuff, I suppose. Let's see if we can pick this stuff up. Uh. It's been a while since I used this thing. Ooh. Ow! Shit, I hit myself in the head. Uh, let's try again. Take it over there and then throw it. We scan this. I keep forgetting that the scanner symbol will come up if you need to scan something. I just keep forgetting. Right, let's get these boxes out of the way. 
Oh, and my power's down to half. 42, wait, well, way less than 42. Um, okay, I think we can just walk over here. It's kind of dark in here too. Make sure there's nothing in here to scan and I see something crappy already, which is a fire. Oh, but we got a fire extinguisher. I hope I can remember how to use it. Um, let's see, put it in the... Um, one of the slots. Okay, we'll put it in number two. And I hope I can remember how to use this thing. Okay. Right. Oh, shoot. Okay, okay. You have to do it more than a little bit. Wow, I've used 66%. Alright, what else? Dang. Ooh, yay, a battery. Alright, cool. I just wish I had way more storage. Sure there's nothing over here. Looks like I gotta go swimming. Mm. Mm. I guess down here. Oh crap, I don't think I brought my extra tank either. Uh no. <laughs> Great. Yes, totally unprepared for this. Oh, there's boxes down here. Let's see if there's anything to scan in these boxes. Mm, no, but here's a door. Oh, there's a keypad. Um, do I have any codes? Laser cutter? Maybe I have to laser it. Laser it. Nope. Um. Let's see. Let's look around. What the heck is that thing? There's a bunch of doors. There's like one down, one up, and another one that you can open, I guess. I don't have much food or water. <laughs> Nothing. It's funny the things that you can see when you come back through. When you're not under the panic of. Oh, God. Oh, that looks dangerous. Let's try not to run into it. There's my laser cutter. That's my repair tool. Okay, 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 okay. Can't repair anything. So I'm just gonna have to try to avoid it. Oh! Lab access. data. Nothing here to scan. Uh, 
I don't even know what that thing is. Looks like some kind of elevator or something. I've never seen anything like this. Okay. Okay, there's two doors here. One to open. And looks like one to cut. Let's see if I can cut this. Oh, it is sealed. Alright, cool. So, cut open to access. How do you do this again? Make sure we get a fresh battery. There we go. Come on. Got 27 seconds of oxygen. Yeah, we're going to have to go back to the base, I think. Cool. Do we have a way to get in this? O2. Uh, okay, don't panic. Get out. 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 Ugh. Okay. There's no need for this. There's no need to be unprepared. There's no need to be panicky. Okay. Um, I think what I want to do is go back to the house. And we'll come back. Nuclear weapons! Yeah. Let's do that. There's that little guy. There you are. I see ya. Huh. There he is, there he is. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Uh-huh. Alright, let's go back to the house. Get prepared so we can properly explore your world. Because I have a Captain. feeling... Thank you. I have a feeling there's going to be tons of good stuff in here. And, uh, yeah. We've got some stuff to look at. But first, we got to get past that monster that's twirling around at the back of this thing. See if we can outsmart him. Just shoot. Can I get out here? Uh, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Run for your life. Tell you what, these beacons are one of the most useful things in this game. Otherwise, I'd be completely lost most of the time. Oh! There's a mushroom on this end, too. Okay, cool. Oh, tons of stuff to check out down there, too. Let's see what we're going to need. We're going to need food water and empty as much space we need our uh, let's see we're wearing the radiation suit we're going to need um, make sure the batteries are good hello we need our extra um, tank for sure I think that would be the main thing because I don't know how many sections you got to go through that you We'll need to switch the tanks. So that's like top priority. I'm very happy with my new base though. And I think uh, we're going to get some cool additions to it. I hope. But I don't know where those additions will be. It'll be cool. <sighs> home, home, home. Very cozy. I do love that it charges this thing and we don't have to worry about it. So, yeah. So, I think we will end the episode here. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe and smash that bell to get notifications of my next upload. Thank you so much for watching. We'll talk to you later. Bye!